Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another weather forecast here by Adrian Weather Forecast. It's going to be another tropical update here, and we have yet another tropical disturbance here highlighted off the U.S. coast. This is going to be taking a like a kind of a Arthur-like path, except it's going to be a lot closer to the coast. And if this does become a tropical system here, it has a 20% chance it could very well make U.S. landfall. There is the way, without a doubt. There is a very good possibility this can make landfall no matter what. Uh, it can either make landfall for parts of South Carolina or North Carolina. This is definitely more of a, uh, more of a close call than Arthur for sure. This is a 20% chance. As of right now, I would not doubt if it does increase. We, ha we have very favorable conditions. Very little shear, warm SSTs, and also very moist air. So very favorable for this possibly maybe become tropical storm. Bertha would not rule out the possibility of that happening and could maybe, who knows, maybe become a tropical depression. With that further ado, let's get the video. Please subscribe if you're new. And with that further ado, let's get the tropical update. So as we look in the five-day graphical tropical weather outlook for the National Hurricane Center, they have highlighted a 20% chance for tropical development within the next two to five days here in this circle here. It is yellow, so that means a 20 to a 40% chance. As you see, this low this uh, system is actually all, is uh, the low pressure system itself, where the X is. That is where we have that low pressure system. It is actually uh, is actually in Central Florida right now. It is not in the ocean. But we are seeing the, the thunderstorms and all the tropical moisture is actually off the coast. So we do have the low pressure system uh, uh, um, uh, inland, but we do have all the moisture to the coast. So this is very likely to be um, the reason why it's such a low percentage of uh, uh, de development or formation is because right now it's actually not even the ocean, this low pressure system. Very soon, though, this could be possibly up to maybe to a 40% chance here. I see it has a low development for the next 48 hours to five days. So within the next from now the next five days, we do have a 20% chance likely here for development. It's actually, of course, uh, going to be heading towards the northeast of Florida area, off the coast of Georgia, and off the coast of South, South Carolina. So it does seem like it's going to be taking a potential landfall, uh, likely. So it's going to be making a landfall no matter what. But uh, we're seeing if it could be, it can make a landfall of a tropical depression, or it can make a landfall of a tropical storm. But either way, this can make a this can make a landfall, and this is a tropical system. Technically, it is, um, it is bringing out all that tropical like the, uh, development or tropical like uh, just uh, signs. But of course, it's not a tropical depression yet. It's not even a, it's not an invest yet. Not even a tropical storm yet. But I do, I do think there's a possibility this could possibly become tropical storm birth. But I really think it's going to be very likely here. So, of course, this is where our area of development here is a 20% chance. As we now look at the SSTs here, as you see, we have very warm temperatures. It's basically right off. It's right on Central Florida, and this is our track. This is basically our track right here. This is a our circle of focus or potential development. As you see, the waters have warmed up since Arthur. We are seeing a bit of a warm up here throughout the southeastern coast here. We are seeing very warm sur uh, sea surface temperatures, especially all the way from Florida to North Carolina. Uh, at least it's not going to be going, it's not going to skin the Outer Banks like uh, Arthur did and head in cooler waters. This is going to be heading to warm, uh, warmer waters throughout the whole track, uh, the whole life of the system. Very well likely it can maybe uh, go up uh, uh, not too far from the Georgia, the Georgia border. Uh, or the Georgia uh, state line or the Georgia coast and possibly make landfall in southern North Carolina or far northern South Carolina. This will be the first time in a very long time that we've had two uh, two, or the, two of the first name systems to make landfall in the Carolinas or in the U.S. in general. This is going to be very rare if this actually happens. It's actually very rare to see this even having a percentage of development. So if this is maybe even become a tropical depression, let's just say, or maybe a very weak tropical storm, and it makes landfall in North Carolina. Uh, like this would be Bertha. This would be the Bertha track, really. If Bertha were to form, is to form, form, it would be made most likely right here. That would be the you. That would be the, the track. And then Arthur was like this. So that's gonna be uh that's Arthur and Bertha. Those are the first two names. That would be very rare to actually see that su such uh activity. Uh, not only in the U.S. or in general, but for the for the Mid Atlantic in the southeastern coast, which you don't really see activity until late in the season. So we're going to be seeing very warm SST, so very favorable conditions for the sea surface temperatures. Let's go check out the um 
the satellite imagery. So this system is bringing a lot of cloud cover. You're going to just see this dense cloud cover. It's right here. You see that little pressure thing mostly right here. Like I said, we're seeing most of that precipitation, most of all that moisture off the coast, but the, the central of the system where the low pressure is still off, is still inland. As you see, this is going to bring a ton of cloud cover throughout parts of the coast. Um, all the way from Mississippi to parts of New Jersey, we're going to be seeing cloud cover from the system. It's very, very widespread of uh, the system. It's a very large system. We're going to bring dense cloud cover all the way from South Carolina to the Bahamas and then bring some more cloud cover throughout parts of Georgia and Southeast. As you can see, the cloud cover is moving to the north. So this is definitely from the system as it is going to continue to move north. So here's basically where all this moisture is it is moving up the coast it can very well likely go like this and possibly make a landfall in north carolina i think the possibilities or the 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 probability of this making a landfall uh, whether it's a tropical storm or depression is very 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 likely now that the track will be very unlikely for this to like completely avoid like that that'll be very unlikely to see that track there as we have this warm this warm temperature trend in this moisture this moisture trend is going to take this system directly to the north really this is where all the favorable conditions are right here this is basically the most favorable condition area right here in general this is a very favorable area at this point to see where bertha would go obviously it's not it's it's north of this general area it's north of, north of this but this has this general area has this, this general vicinity is very favorable, and as you see this continue to move north, who knows if we have some more comfort, uh, some more defined vorticity, outer uh, outer bands, and we'll just see exactly how organized this system does become. As we now look at tropical tidbits, the radar here, the GFS model, here it is currently right now. Low pressure is going to start moving in the next six hours here, the next six hours. This low pressure system will finally go off the coast there. So in the next update, we should definitely see the next uh, NHC update. We can definitely see this possibly maybe have a new a percentage and a higher percentage. Like I said, it's going to bring a lot of uh, more of the moisture just off the coast. I'm going to be seeing too much moisture left for much of Flor uh, for Florida really generally. And as it's, this could definitely strengthen with the next coming hours here. Next 18 hours, we see a lot more uh, heavier rainfall, which can maybe show a sign of intensity. Uh, way more intensity could be seeing some more outer bands, a, a, a more, um, more defined outer bands. It's going to be bringing rain throughout much of the Carolina coast very soon. Actually, with the next 30 hours, this thing could bring in a uh, close landfall as you see this thing could very well make landfall here we had that defined low pressure system at a thousand millibars who knows if it drops all the way up to the 900 and here we have this very dense uh, very extreme and it's intense rainfall and downpours which can make landfall for southern north carolina coast just out of the outer banks and possibly affect raleigh winston salem those areas very hard and bring a ton of rain throughout those areas in the mid-atlantic Let's go and check out the CMC model here, which is also very good with the tropics. As we look at the next 12 hours here, it's bringing that really heavy rain off the coast of Florida. And it is showing uh, kind of not as organized, but here you see the system that's 36 hours. Very, It's showing a lot more of a later landfall or a later effect on the Carolinas. And then it shows affecting ports at southern North Carolina coast. And go check out the ICON model. Uh, it's actually still loading. Let's go check out the European, though. You can see the European is going to be shipping it. Uh, let's actually see if we can check out the, uh, let's go and check out, we can check out the, um, I'm not sure if I can find it. Uh, it's going to be showing the, uh, 850 bar winds, so it's going to be higher in the atmosphere, though. It, it is showing it off the coast near Jacksonville, and then it does possibly head off into parts of South Carolina based on the GFS, or based on the Euro, Euro model. But let's go back to the GFS here. Let's go back out here to the total accumulated precipitation here this is going to bring a ton of rain you can definitely see that basically the track of the system going to be here and that's going to be kind of taking this track right to the directly to the north you can just see this cone uh this is the cone basically right here this is our cone could possibly bring a half foot or more of rain throughout parts of just off the coast of north carolina who knows if it will bring even more rain for north carolina inland later on as we know, the current condition today is going to bring in a quite a strong wind gust for this uh, for non-invest system. Could possibly bring it to 28 knots to possibly 30 knot uh, wind gust throughout these areas uh, right now. That's those basically those are basically the wind gusts we are seeing right now. That's exactly why we are seeing this uh, that highlighted area. You see possibly 33 knots there. 
that highlighted area uh, that's exactly why we do have that highlighted area we are seeing the very favorable wind conditions here uh, not just seeing we're not just seeing a little uh, area like, like this with like no winds like we're not seeing this we're seeing this and it's in circular rotation there as you're not going to 12 hours can very well likely strengthen a little bit and wind wise can maybe cross 30 knots at this point as we're not going to 24 hours this thing will possibly look a lot more organized and stronger winds staying around that 30 knots a 32 knot uh really range but in the next 30 hours this thing can possibly reach 40 knots here uh, which I believe is 45 miles per hour if I if I'm not wrong That's gonna be possibly see 40 knots right there in that little center there Then that can bring us some very strong winds likely for North Carolina there That is exact. That's what really the the GFS is doing who's bringing some good, good winds and who knows if it strengthens uh, Out of nowhere like Arthur Arthur. I believe got 60 miles per hour and before even becoming an invest It was not showing more than 40 miles per hour who knows if this can be the same case? It's not showing really more than 40 knots here, but who knows if it gets more than 50 knots? Who knows? Here we look at the vorticity signature in the next six hours. We do have some good vorticity signatures. Uh, you see that darker reds there, some oranges, but it's not really organized. You want to see like in one circle little area. You don't want to see it all scattered like that because you see that across many areas. You want to see like a circular, really dark red there like Arthur did like Arthur's signature was of course this is not or it's not really forecast to be a tropical storm necessarily because obviously we don't have the intensity guidance because it's not even a, uh it's not even an invest here not even a tropical depression here but as we now look this we'll have a better a, a better vortex a vortex signature before that landfall in 30 hours there it has a bit of a better looking uh vortex signature there so it does look it does strengthen definitely strengthen a lot before the potential landfall as you look at the favorable conditions here, like I said, very favorable in the beginning of the video. We have a whole area right off the coast of Florida where the thing is right now where it has no shear or very little shear whatsoever. We do have kind of a strong flow to the north of the system. As you see, it's kind of right here at this point. And this is where all the precipitation is. That's very little wind shear where it is right now. As we continue in the future, here you see the system right here. You can see it's right here. This is a low pressure system. As you see, we have very little shear in this whole area, even all the way to North Carolina. We're seeing very, very little shear. Um, not even seeing more than 30 knots or 27 knots, even 25 knots. We're not even reaching 25 knots in the atmosphere here. Very little shear, so this could very well possibly strengthen because of that. As you see, we uh, very little. Uh, we have very little cooler, really, very little cold water, and also. Very little shear, so this could very well strengthen and continue on that strengthening trend until it goes over land. So very well could not weaken. It probably won't weaken in the middle of nowhere because of some wind shear, a flow, or anything like that. Also, something that's very favorable is the humidity and all the moisture. We're seeing a ton of moisture right here in this in our favorable cone. As you see, it's forecasted here. The low pressure system. Look at all this moisture ahead of the system all this moisture it's going to be a ton no dry air really whatsoever near the system at all really and as we move now more and more close to the coast look at this we had this whole flow of a very very moist and a lot of moisture this dryer is not even close to be seen we have dryer here and very little dryer here not even that bad whatsoever but really really a strong area of where this possibly cone will be of moisture there's gonna be no dry air whatsoever moving in this area as it does move across yet yeah, as it does move off the coast of the u.s so dry air is not to be seen uh wind strong wind shear is not to be seen or not to be uh in this area and cold sst's or oh cooler sst's are not to be found anywhere in this cold track so very favorable condition to possibly maybe see a tropical depression or maybe even a tropical storm bertha Hope you guys enjoyed the video though. Please subscribe, of course, if you're new, and I'll keep you guys updated on this potential Bertha.